Welcome, everyone. It's time for NBA action. Coming to you live on this Saturday night. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. DA will join us tonight on the sideline. And the starting group for the Spurs. Rudy Gay is out there with Jakob Pertl. Then it's DeRozan. Then there's Murray. And it's White in at the two-guard spot. And for the Hawks, Young and Herter make up the back. Hunter at the three with Collins at the four. And it's Capella in at the five spot. Clark, what do you think is the most important thing a player has to focus on when it's this early in the season? I think a couple of things, Kevin. One is just doing your job, understanding how you best do your job for your team, and then getting comfortable with your teammates and being able to handle the nuances of game plans as you approach different opponents, the mental aspect of getting ready to perform at a high level. And it's the Hawks to start out. Junior comes in for Collins. And it's Williams in for Kevin Herter. The Spurs also changing it up. Eubanks has checked in. And it's Lonnie Walker in for Derek White. Young finds Capella. Here's Junior. It's good. This game is all even. Right there on display for you was Clint Capella's continuing growth offense. Eyes up, ready to make the next pass before he got the ball. Now here's Murray. No points in the game yet for him. Goes up at the stripe. DeRozan passes to get. Good. And it's DeRozan picking up the assists. DeRozan's got three assists in the game. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Well, I caught up with Greg Popovich, and he was quick to point out the danger Trey Young poses not just as a scorer, but as a distributor. His quote was, his skill as a passer is overlooked, but we're not going to lose sight of that. We have to make him play the game on our terms. He can't be dictating the pace. So they're going to try to keep Young under control, Kevin. Back to you. Thank you, David. Williams gets the bucket. As a defender, you think maybe you can intimidate Williams. Wrong. No way. The Spurs have gone just a shade under 50% from the field. 5 of 11. Nice ball movement by San Antonio. DeRozan surveying the D. Six on the shot clock. The Spurs need to get a shot off here. Here's Gay outside. Rebound Atlanta. Now here's Junior. He's guarded close. Capella trying to free himself up. And that one's good, Junior. Junior's got his second bucket of the game to go. The Spurs come into this one following a loss to the Lakers. Yeah, I mean, we saw them do a little bit of everything in that game. Showed a lot of versatility. And, you know, everything seemed to just kind of flow naturally for them. Felt like they were in a groove from the opening tip. Capella, high post. Young. A three. Doesn't go that time. And the Spurs going the other way now. Not much falling for him this quarter, guys, and you can sense his frustration. Junior kicks to Williams. The shot from the low post is good. Williams has got the game tied up here for the Hawks. And Murray's got the ball here for the Spurs. Pass to DeRozan. And that's going to be too many steps. Gets the whistle on the travel. Yeah, that's sort of a picture of what not to do on those last two possessions. They're being way too loose with the ball. I'm glad we got to see the mobile one block once more. What a play. The, the defensive awareness, the timing. When you have to face a defender that can reject you like that, it can alter your approach. So for the Hawks, Cobby's checked in for Clint Capel. Alinari comes in for DeAndre Hunter. And Chris Dunn subbed in for Trey Young. The Spurs also changing it up. Gorky Dangs checked in for Gay. Johnson comes in for Tamar DeRozan. And it's Mills in for Murray. You know what? When you leave somebody open on Cobb's team, he's going to make you pay because he'll find them. Out left to the wing. Eubanks the pass to Chang. Johnson with it. 
makes the three-point bomb. Man, the triples keep falling, guys. That's three in a row. I think they're playing too soft on the perimeter. They can't stay so soft. They've got to get up into the shooters here. Now, here's Dunn. Passes to Cobb. To the paint. Here's Junior. Basket good. Junior's got eight. No misses for him yet in this quarter. Solid as a rock. San Antonio's gone four of eight on their three-point attempts, doing a lot of work from way outside. Here in the first quarter, Chang the pass to Mills. Here's Walker. Let's it go from deep. And again, it's the Spurs from deep. 12 straight points off of three-pointers, and the D looks shell-shocked. And guys, now that they're rolling from out there, the defense has to really get up into them. You've got to almost be in their jerseys to try to deny those looks. From deep, John misses. The Spurs have gone 8 of 15 from the field, shooting above 50% here tonight. Pass to Eubanks. There's 138 left to play in the first. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. And the Spurs lead by four. Boy, you can't give him any room to maneuver on the board because once he does, he's going to make you pay. Hawk shooting has been tremendous early. Their offense looking primed and ready for this match. Dunn passes to Williams. Now, Khan. To the inside. Here's Junior. Oh, yes, he did. Five up and five for him so far. I don't know what's happening defensively, but they're not putting up any resistance. I tell you what, it's, it reminds me of one of my college coaches who used to say, that ain't going to get it done. That's five straight baskets in the paint now. I'll tell you what, I'm not sure these guys can keep this up. High octane action for sure. Crowd pleasing already. Now, here's Junior. 29 points for him last game against Miami. And he was terrific in that game defensively as well, blocking four shots on the night. San Antonio leading. Walker the pass to Eubanks. And Zhang kicks to Mills. Second shot opportunity. Eubanks, no good. There's 25 seconds left in the first. Williams attacking. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. And they are attacking the rim and getting great results. And how? I mean, they're taking this defense to task, taking them to school. Every one of their last ten points have come in the paint. He throw good, Lou Williams. Well, he's an outstanding free throw percentage shooter. I mean, for his career, one of the best is Williams. Now, here's Mills, done covering. Mills with it. Over, done. And the last second attempt does not go in for him. Dunn is a very physical defender. I mean, he gives his guys no room to operate. And we'll be back with you shortly. game underway so far. We'll see if either of these teams can jump out in the second quarter. And when you consider how Atlanta is doing, your thoughts? Showing a lot of confidence in their rotation. They went right to that bench when they needed points. And you know, when the bench is playing such a big role early, that certainly allows the starters to stay fresh throughout the game. On the floor for San Antonio, they've got Corgi Dang, Mills out there with Johnson. And it's Eubanks in at the power forward. The Hawks trailing. And Mills in the NBA for over a decade now, GA. But he still has incredible speed. It's key to his game. And Kevin, with Mills, that end-to-end -end speed doesn't get shown off too often. In the half court, though, he does a great job of creating looks for himself. Accelerates off the screen. Can still leave a defender in the dust when he turns it on. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for the Hawks. You know, guys, we've really seen them do a lot of damage in the paint so far. Yeah, but and they've also balanced that, though, guys, with the attack off the bounce as well to get them some points. Hey, Greg, you played in a different era of NBA defense. When you look at how defense is played now in the league, 
How do you feel about it? You know, Kevin, I, I think the introduction of the zone, by and large, has been great. Uh, you, you get a lot more switching. Uh, and I think it brings more skill into the game. Don't, don't get me wrong. I, I do miss the physicality that we had back in the 90s. But I tell you what, right now, my body wishes I had the opportunity <laughs> to play in this era. I bet it does. Out to the right wing. Alinari surveying the D. A jump hook. And Junior with the nice bucket inside. Junior's got the lead back up to two now for Atlanta. And it's Mills with the ball for the San Antonio Spurs. And this game, the first chance they've had to see Atlanta. And in their two matchups last season, they came up empty both times. Not really too shocking when you see how they fared overall. Exactly. I mean, when you lose as much as they did last year, you'll get beat by teams that aren't playoff powers for sure. For Atlanta, they've gone two or three from the field here to open the second quarter. Down low, here's Junior, and the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. Well, guys, this first half has been about as tightly contested as you could hope for. There have been a lot of lead changes. My goodness. He's gone one of one in the game so far from the line. Free throw good, Junior. And here in the second, two minutes gone by. Spurs trail by three. And the pass to Chang. And here is Pirtle. Pass to Mills. Down to five on the shot clock. Johnson against Gallinari. Pirtle kicks to Johnson. And here's Mills from the arc. It's good with the assist that time from Johnson. Mills has got it all tied up now for the Spurs. Here in the second quarter, we've played a little over two and a half minutes now. Dunn dishes to Junior. And Gorgie Jang is going to pick up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Now, here's Dunn. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Passes it to Cobb. There's the triple. Here's Junior. And Junior throws it down. Good to see a player going all out when the game's this tight. You know, G.A., he knows what his job is. Patrol the offensive glass. You know, that time I thought he did it with authority. Tremendous putback at a time when they really need it. Here's Johnson following the bucket by the Hawks. Shot clock at six. Mills passes to Chang and stolen by Dunn. And Junior gets it to go on the assist from Dunn. And now a four-point Hawks lead. San Antonio's gone six of ten from three-point range, up over 50% for the ball game. Mills passes to Perkins. Here's Jang. Spurs working the ball around now. Johnson inside. Gallinari on him. And Jang gets it to go. And, you know, we all know about Jang's high motor. Defensively, you can't just let him float around the glass. You've got to get a body on him. Now, here is Gallinari. Johnson over to help. Done. Wide open. He fires. Gallinari dishes to Junior. Goes back up, and he sinks the layup. Junior's got the lead up to four now for Atlanta. He's a big reason why they have the lead right now. He's made all of his field goal attempts thus far and remains hot from the floor. Time called here. The Spurs decide to talk it over. They couldn't put the pieces together, losing the last matchup with the Lakers. They had nowhere near at their best uh, throughout the course of that game. A scrappy performance, but in the end, just not enough. Yeah, a lot of character on display, a lot of guts. You're right, even as shaky as they were, I would guess they felt they let one get away from them. For the Hawks, Collins checked in for Cobb. DeAndre Hunter comes in for Gallinari. Young is subbed in for Chris Dunn. The Spurs also changing it up. Rudy Gaze checked in for Gorgie Dan. Jamar DeRozan comes in for Johnson. And it's DeJounte Murray in for Patty Mills. 
monster quarter for him. He's put the team on his back, trying to carry them to the W. When you look at the balance of power between players and teams, Greg, does it feel like the players now have more say, more control than they used to? No doubt. Uh, we're seeing more players demand trades, sign shorter contracts with opt-outs. And the irony of that is, in my era, our best players were fearful for the length of their contracts mm. or, or the life expectancy of their careers, believe it or not. And these guys today, they understand their value. Uh, they know what they bring to the table, and they are utilizing that to the max. And is that good, Greg, for the game? I think so. I, I, I do think most guys want to win, and they understand that their legacies are going to be defined about whether or not they do. As we've gotten closer to halftime, their style has become more and more physical. Boy, it certainly appears to be the case. I mean, they've spent a lot of time at the foul line this quarter, and that's the result of attacking the rim and being physical. Now, here's game. Over to the wing. Pulls up. It's tipped. And it's out of bounds. The Spurs able to retain possession here. <laughs> Off the inbound. And it's out of bounds. The Spurs able to retain possession here. the inbound the shot will not fall Collins with some nice D all alone again the Hawks good for two and creating a little separation here gaining some confidence yeah you get the sense that they're going to start stretching this lead out a little bit now here's White eight points for him to the middle here's Gay it's rebounded by Herter and, and typically, he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that position. And finish off by Collins. And that's the advantage of having a lead guard who can both pass and shoot. Young draws attention and takes advantage of a poor rotation defensively. Outside, White. Inside, here's Gay. They can't stop the run with that one to me like this team is going to need more from him. I mean, if they're to erase this deficit, he's got to step up. To the inside, Junior, that's in, coming off the assist from Young. And that's now 29 points for Junior. And so White will bring it up for the Spurs. It's a 14-point game. Pass to get. Outside, White. Pass to Murray. Up again. Controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. And Pirtle has stick to itiveness on the offensive glass. He just throws himself in the mix to come up with those boards. Now, here is Young. 37 points in the win against Miami. And then there was his pass. When he wasn't scoring on his own, he was making plays for his teammates. And they just couldn't figure out how to defend him. And Jakob Pertl, he's carved himself a good chunk of rotation minutes with how he's played. Yeah, I love his game. I like his agility. I like his hands, his touch. I mean, he's a big, mobile guy. I think he's gotten to a good spot where he's dangerous in pick and roll action now too, Greg. A solid defender. A guy like that is always going to find minutes. Now, here is Young following the shot by Rudy Gay. Young passes to Junior. And Junior throws it down. And he has his fingerprints all over this first half. He is just shooting it so efficient. Here's Murray. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Outside DeRozan. Knocks it loose. And stolen by Junior. To the middle. Here's Collins. 
Jr. kicks to Collins. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. Nice pass here to set that basket up. The Hawks shooting their sixth attempt at the charity stripe in the game. A different look now for San Antonio. Eubanks is checked in, and Walker subbed in for Derek White. Greg, one of your former teammates, John Starks, would get under a guy's skin on the court. He's like a nuisance, but really opposite off the floor, away from the game. I'll tell you, Kev, John's got a heart of gold. And anybody that knows him is going to be a fan of the person. John is as good a friend as I can ever recall having. And it's good for two. Eubanks got his second basket of the night. Continuing to show activity on the offensive glass. Second chance buckets have been huge. Yeah, they certainly have been. You'd like to knock down that first one, but if you don't, then the second shot is the next best thing. Spurs trail by 17. Gay with no one around. And he buries that one, drilling the rim on the way down. Fellas, he just is struggling to get anything going. Right now, his shooting percentage in the quarter, 20%. Here's Young. Makes the shot. Basket number four this game. Brings him up to four for nine. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. And on the flip side, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. They've got to offer more resistance here. Really well done there. Just confident and composed. Never in a hurry. Outside, Cowan to the paint. Here's Hurt, guarded by Walker. And that one's good, Junior. Junior's got 33. I'm sorry, that's poor defense down low again. It's been a mismatch thus far in the paint. I'd agree with you, and I don't think they expected this one to be a game where they would get battered inside like they have. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. Pass to Collins. Down low. Here's Junior. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. Junior's got 35. Yeah, that was the third straight high percentage look the defense has allowed. The, the defenders have got to start putting bodies on bodies. Now here's DeRozan. He's coming off a 10-point game against the Lakers. Gay outside, five to shoot, and finished off by Gay. Yeah, and Gay can certainly slam it home. Got to keep this guy away from the rim, or he's going to posterize you. We've got 118 left here in the second. Collins kicks to Young. To the paint. Need to get off a shot here. Here's the three. Eubanks grabs the miss. Eubanks got six rebounds here tonight. Here's Walker. Count that bucket. Walker's got seven points. I mean, he makes plays like that in his sleep. The game is just far too easy. Young against Murray. Collins wide open. He fires. No oh, good with the triple. And, you know, even though that didn't go down, I, I like how they got him a wide-open look in space there. It's good. And the Hawks' lead is cut down to just 10 points with the bucket from Gay. And so Young will bring it up for the Hawks. Earlier in the game, they had a 19-point lead. Floats it up for Junior. Hammers the alley-oop through. It's bigger on a ridiculous offensive sequence. That dunk alone would have been spectacular. Never mind it coming at the end of an alley-oop. Well, I tell you what, they've got this team just a step away from being completely sleep. Now here's Walker. He's got seven. Wants to get it to DeRozan and does. That one drops for him. And that's now six points for DeMar DeRozan. Young. And so it's Atlanta with a 10-point lead. Some breathing room heading into the break. They're pounding the ball inside, and that's where they've got. All right, David, thank you, and stay with us, folks. We'll be back. To And 
And for those of you just tuning in, thanks for being with us. The second half of this game... new group for Atlanta and guys let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the Hawks and they haven't been pushed around in the paint at all in this game they have been the aggressors they've repeatedly gotten out on the break tonight as well and scored a lot of baskets in transition Chris Dunn is out there with Lou Williams then there's Khan then there's Gallinari and it's junior and at the power forward position so that's the lineup for Atlanta Here's Cobb. Back to Dunn. The kick out to Williams. With the floater. And the layup is good. Williams has got seven now in this quarter. No doubt about the consistency when it comes to scoring the basketball for him tonight. A real nice lift for their offense. Walker the pass to Murray. Teardrop shot, and the layup is up and in. Well, that floater is a shot Murray's had his whole life, guys. The first time I saw him back in college, I could tell right away, instantly, what a great feel he had for that shot. Dunn passes to Junior. On the wing, Williams. Hawks passing it around. Lock at six. Passes it to Junior. Spurs trail by six. Walker in the corner. That one is good. He's only missed one shot of his six taken on the floor. And you gotta love the big bucket in the paint in this sort of a grind it out game. Cobb passes to Junior. Drops in the layup for two. Junior's got 39. He's certainly been their go-to guy when it matters most. He's trying to close this one out. Murray against Dunn. And Murray. Here we go. That's tipped. Williams with a clean look. Off target from outside. That's a look you cannot pass up. It's also one you should miss. Walker's shot is off. The Hawks leading by six. And here's Junior. He's got 39. They get the rebound. Tries again. And Cobb lays it in. Cobb's got five points in the quarter. Greg, you can see the talent that Hendricks Cobb possesses. He looks like a player who is bound for stardom. Cobb has that it factor about him when he plays. Everything comes so easy for him. With his talent and drive, he'll be one of the big names in the NBA soon enough. Atlanta calls timeout. Well, a look at Lonnie Walker, the 18th pick in that 2018 draft. He's being brought along slowly as the team loves his potential. But he has a lot to smooth out with his game. Here's what Atlanta's going with right now. Kevin Herter, he's checked in for Williams. And Trey Young subbed in for Dunn. A nice shot by Young. You know, fleshing out his attack a little more. Young showing more of a willingness to go in there amongst the trees. Greg, you talk about the upside with Lonnie Walker. This team loves his athleticism. You know, not the typical Spurs type player we've seen targeted in the past. Uh, an athletic maniac who can fly end to end. The polish to his game will come. It's just going to take some time. The D just kind of stepping aside and letting him get to the rim. There's a reason, G.A., the lead is what it is right now you know you look at it the communication is lacking as is the trust they can ill afford those types of breakdowns it won't work you can't win with those kind of breakdowns perfect dime drop that time nice execution of the bounce pass Gallinari on the wing to the middle Junior kicks to Gallinari here's Junior count that one 
Bucks got four points now in the quarter. Not a lot of resistance on the inside, and they're taking full advantage. The play in the paint has gone almost entirely all their way. Murray dishes to Walker. There's 47 seconds left in the third. Yes, that goes in. Walker's got 14 points for the game. Obviously, a mix-up defensively on that possession. Young passes to Junior. He dishes it to Cobb. Lays it up off the glass. And the Hawks lead by nine. And they're beginning to just flat-out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now they've allowed from point-blank range. Can't happen. Scooped up. Atlanta's shooting has been just outrageous. 64% from the field at this point. Oh, and the jam by Cobb. About that finish. What a throwdown by Cobb. Murray surveying the D. He gets that one. He's really capable from the mid-range. And I think the more Murray shoots from there, the more of a threat he'll be and the more well-rounded offensively he'll be. And offensively, a great show for the fans through the first three quarters. It's been a fun game to watch. Hawks lead by nine. We're going to step aside for just a second. But join us right back here for the start of the fourth quarter. Next. And let's take this chance now to show you the State Farm assist of the game. And the winner today, the big fella here with the sweetest of dimes. What a plus it is to have a post player who's got this ability to find. Boy, that's a nice asset to have. It's a huge boost to any offense, too. It adds a whole nother dimension when you've got a big guy that can pass. Fourth quarter of action is upon us. Thanks, as always, for joining us. On the floor for San Antonio, starting the fourth quarter. Johnson is up there with Rudy Gay. Then there's Murray, and it's Walker in at the two guard. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. It's going to be on DeJounte Murray. Free throw no good for Junior. And here's Gay. He'll bring it up for the spurt. They trail by 11. The Oklahoma City Thunder will be in town for the next one. They start a three-game homestand with that game. And he gets it to go. Just impressed with the teamwork out there, setting the table for one another. Five straight baskets resulting from assists. They're playing as one unit out there. And it goes down two points. Boy, Murray's court vision, very sharp. And he's unselfish, too. You love seeing that combination. Out to the right wing. Passes to Junior. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. Nicely done. They continue to attack inside, and that's ten points in a row in the paint. If you can't stop it, here it comes. I'm right at you. Hunter's checked in for Gallinari. throw good junior Spurs trail by 14 Murray outside here's DeRozan offensive rebound Pirtle and the basket is good hey when Pirtle gets the rock deep inside the defense is cooked can't allow him to get comfortable from there Young. Cobb in the corner. Junior kicks to Cobb. And it goes out of bounds. Uh, last touch by Purdy. Hawks making a switch here. Collins has checked in. 
A fantastic mobile one block. This one deserves another look. And those are plays that get you in front and keep you in front. So it's the Hawks taking care of business in this one. Some good competition, but the hometown advantage and their ability to stay focused, I think, made the difference. Yeah, and the first step in becoming a good team is your ability to win at home. And they really seem to revel in that opportunity. And, and this is what they came out to do. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Clark Kellogg, Greg Anthony, and David Alder. This is Kevin Harlan along with our terrific 2K Sports crew thanking you for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.